Well, boxing tends to conjure up all sorts of characters from all sorts of places, and one such figure who's been lighting up our small halls is the Namibian Ali Numbembe, who somehow settled in a caravan behind a pub in Glossop and has this uh, extraordinary following, Johnny, as he uh, progresses here against Gavin Down. I've seen these two work together on the odd occasion, and it's very competitive, even in sparring. The member travels all over the place and works in many different gyms just to get a bit of experience. But when these two work together, the member is fast, he's accurate, whereas Gavin is sharp and strong. Uh, and so it's always been competitive. I think this will be another one of those competitive displays. That's a decent match on paper. There's uh, some. 41 wins between the pair, down a fringe contender for quite a while now, maybe just at the uh, wrong end of his career, and Mbembe with the impetus and the crowd already getting behind him with shouts of Ali, Ali. Mbembe's stance is very intimidating, He's at, he has an excellent stature, he, he uses his height, he pumps those shoulders up and he'll pop the jab out to make him look bigger than what he actually is. The taller of the two is actually Gavin Down, but Gavin but stands short, whereas the member stands tall and uses the jab, and, and, and he looks faster. It's more uh, eye-catching for the referee. Already holding the middle of the ring, Mbembe, looking focused, fit, and very determined to keep this decent run going. Wobble there, Numbembe, down, not a big puncher, but digs with respect. Gavin doesn't recognise that, that shot hurt Numbembe, otherwise he'd have stepped in and tried to step up the gas a little bit. Numbembe was smart enough to stay composed, get his statue back, get his foothold, hold the centre of the ring. Left uppercut, got through the defensive down. The member's holding that right hand rather low. And that left hook, what Gavin caught with earlier on, he's open for that. Gavin, again, doesn't see the opening yet, but maybe they'll, they'll point that out to him when he goes back to the corner. Swelling under the right eye for Numbembe, who's uh, very eager and uh, leaving himself just open as he comes in at times. Interesting first round. Second round, this is the one that Ali Mbembe took out Dmitry Yanushevich in uh, Altrincham in July, building on the successful draw he had with the former British and Commonwealth champion David Barnes. That was the result that made people sit up and take notice of Mbembe. Can he build on that here? If you watch the positions change, at the beginning of the round, Gavin Down is taking control of the centre of the ring. Now it's changing again. And then Ben Bay have. It's about who's the boss, who's the gaffer, who's going to get the best shot in that, that change this fight. Johnny Downs coming off a uh, ninth round stoppage defeat to Michael Jennings. And Nubembe's career is rolling a bit. So you just think that that would favour the Namibian here. Oh, of course, it'd be an excellent win for Gavin Down because it could st still keeps him on, on the edges of limelight. Uh, whereas Nubembe, the worst thing he could happen is, is lose to Gavin Down because his, his, draw against, uh, his draw against Barnes, you know, will be totally obliterated if he, if he loses to, to Gavin Down for now. Barnes, of course, went on to lose his Commonwealth crown to Joshua O'Kine. Mbembe just having difficulty settling here with the pressure of Down, who just looks at his right hand there. Is there a problem with that? The punch 
work rate, you, you've got to give it to Mbembe. He's the one that's, that's throwing the shots in. We don't know if there's a, a problem with Gavin Hand's right, right hand, but he keeps sort of twisting it and looking at it as if to say he's a problem there. Well, he holds it up again, down. But uh, that could be disastrous early on. Mbembe starting to wield in the punches up the tempo. Those fans all around us at ringside are cheering him on. Mbembe is, is, is persistent in his work. From round one through to this point of round two, he's done the same thing, the same pace. In fact, he stepped it up. So as you get tired to the end of round two and the third round and the pressure's on, you give up if you're not knocked out. Yeah, Bob Shannon drives them pretty hard in his gym on the outskirts of Manchester and this is a far superior pace now that Mbembe is setting. Gavin Down needs to get Mbembe on the back foot and take him out of his, his form, take him out of his, his comfort zone and pull him out of it because like, as the round's going Mbembe will get more and more confident and accurate like he is now. Yeah, big round for Mbembe. And have a look at those, Ali's Angels, the girls are wearing the T-shirts. And uh, <laughs> he's got some following this cult character. You're right. What's the right, there's two rounds. <laughs> the right. Beehive. The Beehive. They're all right, John, we're all right. It's going to be a bit of Vaseline. That's two rounds with him. You're doing everything right with him. Yeah. But don't let him bully you, because yeah. he's pushing you down. He's hitting you from behind, hitting you with head and all sorts. Just drink that. Just drink it. Drink it. Right. Stop composing yourself and stop throwing your shots. Your corner, Mr. Dominic Ingle. Can he help Gavin down here? He's got to convince Gavin to push him back. Gavin to push him back. Don't let him bully him out of it. And because the more confidence the member gets, the worse it's going to be for Gavin down. And that's what he's managed to recognize. He wants to point out the left hook. He's open for the left hook. But the member is clever. He's pushing him off, throws a quick left jab, and then brings him back to bring the, bring the head up, to bring off the left hook. His real name is Paulus. Mbembe calls himself Ali in the red and black. The 27-year-old by way of Namibia now based in uh, Glossop against Gavin Down, who's a year older and in his 36th outing. And is it starting to tell? Gavin needs to, to walk him back down, start him off with a jab. Don't be the counter puncher, be, be the person that throws the first shot. He's a double Midlands area champion, Gavin Down, formerly at light welterweight, now at light middle. So there is some capability there. And the right hand trying to prize Nbembe's defence open, but back he comes. Oh, and a great right, and that really shook Gavin down, and he has to retreat on the ropes. And Mbembe will be full of confidence, because that, Johnny, had an effect. It's the speed of the Mbembe shots. It wasn't a, a, a heavy shot, it was the speed that shot Gavin down. He did it, it's the shots that hurt you, that shot you that you don't see coming. And that's what the Mbembe's got, very accurate, very fast. Looking for the uppercut, really swinging in. Those long arms, Ali Numbembe. Numbembe's got a good posture, stands well, so his punches have got all the power that he, he can possibly muster up in. And again, down looking a touch shaky on the legs. How come it's all work for Numbembe this year? <laughs> Gavin needs to keep up this kind of work because if he backs off like he did the last round, the Mbembe will push him up and the referee will step in. So he's got to give the Mbembe something to think about. Just occasionally gets caught with the right hand, Ali Mbembe. But there's much more coming from him. And he backs him up on the ropes and this time Phil Edwards goes in and stops the fight. Gavin down with a minor protest, and Ali Numbembe does it again. Inside three rounds, he stops Gavin down, and the story continues. Okay, Numbembe, he's the bogeyman. He's a guy 
it, that, that just pulls it out of the bag. He's fast, he's sharp, and he's the one that he's just trying to keep in the background. Bigger things to come for him. He seemed to have hurt down earlier in the round. Do you think that uh, Ben Edwards was looking for a chance to stop it, or was it a touch premature? <laughs> no, no, I think it just roughly stopped at the right time. He knew uh, Gavin was hurt earlier on. Gavin was smart enough to punch back to the referee, he couldn't step in. At this point, he couldn't defend himself. Gavin tried to block, but it was a right hand that shocked him down to his knees. Uh, and, and Gavin came back from that, but again, you know, down to his knees, and, and you know, that was his peaceful punch, that was his accurate shot. Let's have a look at the finish. Three, four, five unanswered shots. There was no excuse for the referee not to step in. Yeah, good uppercut. Big shots from Mbembe. Fifth stoppage win. And uh, who knows where this story's going to go. Well, what a year so far 2005 is turning out to be for Ali Numbembe, Namibia and Glossop. And a stoppage. And I suppose you'll tell us you're to thank for that, aren't you? <laughs> well, I do a little bit of moving around with him in the gym. <coughs> Numbembe is one of those fighters that seems to be able to step up to the plate once it comes to performing in public. I've sparred with him before and this kid is fast, but he, he's accurate and he has got a lot of bottle. No matter how big or small you are, he'll give it his all. Do you think he is improving? I, I think the draw with David Barnes has probably lifted him as a fighter. He believes he won that fight. He took the fight at short notice and he, uh, he, he's now grown into a better fighter.